In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the upstream O2 sensors on this Dodge Grand Caravan. Let's get started. Looking all the way up there, you'll see the sensor on the rear of the engine on bank one, also known as the right side. That white connector is actually for the upstream O2 sensor. So I'm going to start with unplugging it. Press on this tab, unplug the connector. With the connector unplugged, you should have enough slack in it to loop it up and over that hook so you can release it from its retainer. There we go. There's the wire. Now use an O2 sensor socket, or you could use a 22 millimeter wrench, but oftentimes you're gonna need the socket because it has a lot more grip than a wrench. Slide the socket over the sensor. Make sure that's bottomed out like that. Once you have your tool on there, pull counterclockwise and hopefully that breaks free. Ooh, got it. All right. At this point, you can take your socket off and your ratchet, of course, or whatever tool you were using. Now, unthread the O2 sensor. There it is. Now, reinstall this up, upstream O2 sensor. Thread it on by hand. Make sure you bottom it out. And tighten it up. All right, that's good right there. It just has a, uh, a crush washer that you have to squeeze, and that's what's going to create that nice tight seal. Now, resecure the wire onto this retainer and plug it in, make sure it clicks. In the front of the vehicle, you'll see the upstream O2 sensor. We have to go from the top. The connector is that little white piece right there. You can see it right between your fan and the engine cover here. So reach down. You're going to have to pry this wire harness out of the way. Press on the tab and unplug it. There we go. And you can see the oxygen sensor right from the top. It's easiest to get it with a tubular style socket on this one. Unless all you have is the crow's foot style, you can still fit it down there, but it's going to be a little bit more bulky because it will go sideways. However, the tubular style should fit a lot better. Break it free. There we go. Now, if you twist the wire, you should be able to twist the O2 sensor out of its port. And there it is. Now let's reinstall this upstream sensor. Slide it down in here, spin it onto its threads. If the threads are clean, you should be able to just spin it with the wire. And now drop the O2 sensor socket back down. Finish tightening this up. To tighten this, just squish it down a little bit so that gasket can seal up. Just like that. Now let's get the wire plugged in again. There we go. Had to force it with both hands to get it to click, but that's secured perfectly. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.